Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking about what you can do when you see a DPF or a diesel particulate filter light on your dashboard while you are driving. Uh, you can check your manual and see what it says. There are two types of DPFs. One type is the DPF that is made to last and the other type is the DPF that is made to be replaced after like 100,000 kilometers. So check your manual and if you have the first type or the like if you have a car like this one this is a Honda CRV 2008 uh, 2.2 liter diesel uh, with ICTDI engine uh, and in this car the DPF is made to last so you don't need to replace it so check uh, the manual and uh, be sure uh, of uh, what which type you have and if you have like this car so or like a dpf like uh, of the type of the first type that uh, doesn't need to be replaced so you can drive your car uh, on the highway at a high speed at like 100 kilometers per hour and you don't need to to drive very fast or like to rev the car uh, very much drive normal and the light will disappear after like 10 to 15 minutes so if the light doesn't disappear you may have one of three problems maybe two at the same time maybe three at the same time but it's uh, less common to happen at the same time uh, if someone tells you that you need to change your dpf don't listen it's in the dpf on this car is not made to be changed or to be replaced uh, the first thing, the first problem that, or the most common problem, and I will talk about these three problems from the most common to the less common. The first thing you can uh, think about is the air intake system. Uh, if you have air leak somewhere in the system, in the hoses or in the turbo or in the intercooler, the intercooler on this car is located on the driver's side, in the front, uh, in the front of this, uh, of the wheel. And it's there, the silver one, you can see it. So, if you have a leak somewhere, this sensor will be reading wrong, or will be reading, or like measuring that you have, for example, 14 grams of air, and uh, it will tell the ECU to inject or like the ECU then will tell the injectors to inject one gram of diesel But if the air is being leaked somewhere in the system after the sensor uh, You will have an incomplete combustion which lead to uh, Smoke the diesel will be more than what is needed or the air will be less and it will like the cylinder will have less oxygen and this will cause smoke and smoke will cause a clogged DPF. So this is number one. Uh, and yeah, this sensor may, may go bad too. So check it, it is maybe the math sensor, but yeah, it's, they don't go bad that easy. So yeah, but you can check it anyway. And this is in the air system. This is the first, the, the first uh, thing. Second is the differential pressure sensor. And it's this one. And I can show you maybe better. This is the sensor. And this sensor has two hoses that go, that go to the DPF. And uh, they go one hose go uh, goes uh, to the front of the DPF and one goes to the back of the DPF and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the DPF. This is the DPF on this car, and one hose goes there, like behind it, and one hose goes in front of it. And these hoses are like this sensor measures how much pressure is in the back and how much pressure is in the front of the DPF. If there is too much pressure than normal in the back, 
than the front so it means the tpf is clogged if you have a real like if you really have a clogged dpf you will get the light on your dashboard but if this sensor goes bad so it will read wrong it will measure wrong and you will get the light anyway this is the second one and check the sensor before replacing it if you replace it directly it's too expensive it costs like five to six hundred dollars and this is too much so check it before replacing it the third thing you can think about is the injectors and you have four injectors not one so again don't replace directly check before replacing an injector may be leaking and if it leaks so there will be more diesel in the cylinder than what is needed and again it will be an incomplete combustion which lead to a smoky exhaust which can clog the dpf so yeah everything i talked about check before replacing so check for example in the air system you can check the hoses the air hoses you can check the gaskets you can check the intercooler the turbo the gaskets like uh, uh, like on the sides of the turbo check everything and don't replace before checking and if a mechanic tells you to replace your dpf don't listen to them dpf is very expensive and if you buy a cheap one it may not work the same thing the same way it's not that good so every part i talked about check before replacing otherwise you will be just paying 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 and not finding the problem so yeah and before driving the car and after fixing the problem don't drive the car directly you have to clean the dpf or to regenerate the dpf before otherwise it will be clogged and you will drive it while it's clogged and this can uh, damage this sensor or it can affect the injectors because it will be more pressure that is going back to the engine from the exhaust and don't drive a car with a clock dpf it's better to stop and check so 